Hey guys, what's going on? It's currently 4.50 and I am waiting inside a parking lot of some fast food restaurant. Um, car wash place is literally right there. Um, and Edom literally just picked up Wiggles from the groomers. Um, so she got all nice and pretty and they like did the works on her. They brushed her teeth, cleaned her ears, her wrinkles, cut her nails, grinded her nails, did her anal glands. They did like a like this whole like de-shedding treatment and just all of this crap like extra brushing blow drying this special shampoo conditioner for shedding i mean i think it's called like ferminator or something anyways so yeah she got the work she was there for like two hours so he's dropping her off at the house and then coming here to the um car wash place because we wanted to get both cars detailed um because I don't think they're just gonna have time to do it tomorrow and um, this way they're nice and clean we want to get the undercarriages done because of, like the whole snow and salt it can make your cars rust if you didn't know this um, which I never knew the salt on the roads from snow could do that to cars till I moved out to Minnesota so yeah we really want to get the undercarriages really good get a detail get the cars really nice and fresh however obviously they're gonna get dirty on the road trip um, with bugs and such but you know just kind of have like a clean base I don't know if that makes sense so anyways, I'm waiting for him because he has the coupons for the car wash. Um, and then he wants to get an upgraded one for the for the CRV. Um, so yeah, so I just had my gynecologist appointment. I don't know if I said that. Um, so just my annual pap smear. I'm not pregnant because you guys are like, why'd you go to the gyno? Um, but yeah, so, and I was so sad to say bye to my OB. I love her so much. She is seriously a amazing and I've been going to her for about three years so it just really sucks that she delivered Alondra you know and and I don't know I just love her she's really amazing it's like I haven't seen her in a year because I only have to go every year but I mean just seeing her like and it hasn't been a year but it's like we never spent time apart she remembers everything remembers conversation you know like remembers details about you so I don't know she's just great and I just love her and I feel just so open and free with her um, so yeah, I'm really gonna miss her, but she did give me a referral to an OB that she knows um, that that's actually out in San Diego. He is a guy, but I was like, well, oh well. I mean, if she really likes him, she recommends him, then I mean, I don't mind, I'll go to him. So we'll see. I mean, obviously if I meet, meet him one time and I'm not feeling it, then you know, I'll switch, but anyways. So yeah, and I talked to her too about um, my TTC frustrations and you know, what do you think I should do? Do you think something's wrong with me type of thing? And she said that it sounded like, you know, because we went into detail that everything that we that, that I've been trying, I've been doing well. She did tell me this, which I did not know this, that even if you're doing everything that you need to be doing to try to conceive, you still have a 20% success rate of getting pregnant. And I did not know that. So she said when like people get pregnant their first time having sex or when they get like a whoops baby like Alondra, she's like, that is like huge because even if you're doing everything you should be doing, you know, having sex when you should be having sex when you're like the high, fer you know, fertile, you only have a 20% chance of success. And I thought that was amazing. So that's actually, actually made me feel a lot better. It's not like, you know, when you hear how low it is. Now, if she says 90% success rate, then it's like, okay, something's wrong with me. But 20%, that's huge. That means a lot of people have these frustrations, obviously. So she um yeah she did suggest that i do the ovulation test she suggested getting them off of amazon just like a bunch of you did so thank you guys so much that left a lot of sweet comments and like tips on that video when i talked about my ttc frustrations um so she did suggest those strips on amazon because they are a lot cheaper and then she um said that i should try tracking ovulation for about a good solid six months if that doesn't work um, I would then contact an OB, which is probably the OB that the referral that she gave me, and they can then do tests, and they can also get a sperm analysis for Edom, and you know, that way, you know, they can get everything going, test, make sure that something's not wrong with either one of us, or if something is wrong, you know, obviously we need, we can try to do whatever we can do to fix it. Um, but she says that I'm healthy, everything looks great, everything looks and feels normal on me, obviously we'll wait for my pap results, um, you know, because they want to make sure you have a normal pap smear and stuff like that and uh, make sure HPV is negative or whatever. Um, so anyways, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm feeling good. Um, so, but she says, hopefully, you know, once the move settles and stuff like that, that, you know, everything's, you know, I'll get pregnant. Hopefully, I'll contact her referral because um, I'm pregnant, not because I need to get all these tests done. So, fingers crossed, but I feel a lot better talking to her. And like I said, I just love her. I wish I could, like 
just keep flying back to see her. <laughs> Which I'm probably crazy enough, I would probably do that. But anyways, I'm still just looking to see like if I see Dom. A lot of people are going into the car wash, so hopefully it's not too busy. But anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update, let you know how the day is going. I Work has been really busy, honestly. Like I got all of my computer equipment and then they realized that I was missing um, some stuff that I needed on my computer. So they had to take it back and then had to like add my profiles. I don't even know how to explain all of it, but just stuff I need. So they had to take that back. So I will hope they will hopefully have it all updated and good to go tomorrow because I will obviously need it. Oh, just got a text for Adam. Um, so, you know, they should have it good to go before I leave work tomorrow. Oh, he's on his way now. Um, so I didn't get to take that home, but, and I was supposed to have training today and they had to cancel it because the lady who's supposed to train me has a pneumonia. So I'm supposed to have a conference call with her tomorrow. And then there's two smaller, and she's going to go over three of the desks with me that I'm going to be covering. The two other smaller desks that I'm supposed to be covering, I did one over the phone, like just asked questions. Everything has been like a hodgepodge. It's kind of been a hot mess. I've kind of been like thrown all over the place and people are like, well, is she going to, are you going to have to do this? Are you going to have to do that? Like they weren't sure what exactly, how much in depth each other are going to need to go over with me. Like do I, they need to go like. I don't even know how to explain it because like, with my work it's just so different so it was just kind of like well you may get a call about this or maybe you won't or maybe they'll email you about this but I don't even know if you'll go in depth with them about that because they might just come to to you know us for it so it was honestly just all over the place and I'm feeling slightly more like panicked like oh my god then I found out that there's three new hires like brand new into like my department and they're having like in depth training in March in Atlanta for two days so I was like well can I go to this training like why am I getting a hodgepodge of training so um, I guess I need to talk with my new manager and see if there's any way I can go to that training um, cuz I and anyway she did send me an email saying she wanted to talk to me tomorrow um, since I was getting ready to leave so I said okay sounds good so I'll bring that up to her um, by the way I, I don't know if I'm coming off like like whining or whatever which I'm not trying to whine or sound complaining or anything I just um I pride myself in my work in my work ethic and I don't know if that comes off like you guys see how frustrated I get with stickers um if I can't make my stickers properly so I don't know I pride myself in my work I think I'm a really hard good worker and I want to do I know no one's perfect but I want to do everything the best that I can and I want to have all of the tools that I need to do the best job because I don't want to and give somebody wrong information god forbid and then they call back and they're like well oh you told me yes well why did you know why did Brittany tell me no and tell me you know something totally wrong do you know what I mean and I don't want it to be like oh it's because she's a new girl no I don't want that I I want to you know be equal obviously people who've been who've been doing the 24 7 team and handling these other little departments are going to obviously do better than myself and have more knowledge but I want to be able to hold my own so hopefully that makes sense to you guys I just want to do the best that I can and um, I I like to do the best that I can so anyways that's that so in case any of you guys are like god she's complaining a lot and they made this exception for her and you're keeping your job and you're complaining it's not that I just want to do the best job and I'm super grateful and thankful all of the fools that I'm that they're doing this for me and allowing me to work at home and keep my job just throwing that out there but um all right yeah so I'm just gonna wait until I see it on this clips already nine minutes long holy shiz I can talk forever and I will check in with you guys I guess when we get to the house and I can't believe you guys it's my last night in my apartment can't believe it but I'm gonna go because I can ramble for days as y'all know and I will check in with you guys a little bit later Adam found our pictures at Pizzeria Lola I feel like the last two times we didn't take one. We came here twice with my mom, right? Or once. And we didn't do it with my mom. Yeah, once with my mom, we didn't do it. Oh yeah, we do have one with your dad. Is it behind this photo? Oh, I can't look. I don't, my hands are full. Anyways, these are all of our Pizzeria Lola photos. The first one we ever did was here. This is the first time we came to Pizzeria Lola. I was pregnant and it was Father's Day. That was our very first one. I was pregnant in this one too. 
obviously pregnant in this one. And the rest, and this is the brand new one we just did. And I don't know if it's gonna focus. There's our brand new one. We have another one though with his dad. I can't see the one with Miguel, huh? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have another one. I don't know where it is, but. Oh, look all our photos. I know. This is the first time we brought Alondra. Uh-oh. Focus camera. Here it is. This is the first time we brought Alondra to Pizzeria Lola. This is the first time we went to the Minnesota Zoo. No, second time we went to Minnesota with Zoo with Alondra too. Remember babe, that one? Yeah. The second time we went to the Minnesota Zoo with her. This is the first time we ever ate out by ourselves with Alondra was here. Oh my God, so many memories. Oh. Here's my pizza. This is the Iowan. It's my absolute favorite. It has arugula prosciutto, but I get cooked prosciutto. That's what it looks like. This is the forager, which has like three different mushrooms. And then that is the special, which has, what does it have on it? Chicken, bell pepper, cilantro, serrano. It's really good. But yeah, so anyways, we're gonna grub on. I hope you guys can hear me, it's loud. Alondra, what are you eating? Is that a cookie? that It's our last night in our apartment. And our last night in Minnesota. Are you dancing? Say it's our last night. Wow, pretty dancing. I know, it's Wiggles. I can't believe it. Look you guys, there's literally nothing. You know, I'm shopping off the cable boxes tomorrow. And then obviously everything is getting packed up tomorrow. Hi, love. Hopefully his dad makes the flight tomorrow. But this is all that's left. Really nothing. And I did not do anything as far as moving or packing or cleaning goes today. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's our last night, you guys. So crazy. I already cried. Yeah, like ugly crying, like Kim Kardashian crying. But... Yeah, not that I'm so ugly. sad. What, babe? Not that ugly. Oh, not that ugly? Okay, thank you. But I did. Just a tiny bit. Gorda, you're leaving your home. Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. Little Minnesota girl. Did you guys hear her? She said, oh shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chamaca. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight to you guys, and it's gonna be our last night. Saying goodnight in our home. It's so crazy Thank and you. weird to think about. What oh, that's our last night. You're gonna say bye to friends? Ay. She's kind of moody right now. She does not want to come to bed. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just say goodnight to you guys. Like I can't believe it's our last night in Minnesota. And it's surreal. I'm feeling emotional. I told you I'm like, I became a mom in Minnesota. Like I got pregnant here. It's just we became a family in Minnesota. So it just felt like a lot of like one of those like <sighs> heartfelt moments. Ow. Like heartfelt <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I just feel like big major moments in our lives happened here. So it's bittersweet to be leaving. I'm like excited, but I'm like sad and emotional and I'm really sad too. I didn't get to say bye to any of my friends. Like I didn't get to see Sam one last time. I didn't even get to see Keisha. I mean, unfortunately we were just so busy and working and just none of our schedules worked out. So not that I had a ton of friends to see, um, but those two I didn't get to see and I'm kind of sad about that. Well, I am sad about that, but good thing is that I still work for Delta and Iran was telling me, babe, we can come back and visit and obviously see them. So, so yeah, so what are you thinking, babe? How are you feeling about our last night of Minnesota? They could clearly, I'm like here so emotional trying not to cry on camera and they could give two shits. Nine already sank on me. 
I feel like I'm I had worried. time to. I had time to. 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 To process it. Process it. But it's our last night, babe. Our lives are forever gonna be changed. No. I agree. No. Forever. Forever. So crazy to think about. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. We're gonna go ahead and go. Say good night from our last night here in Minnesota. So hopefully everything works out. His dad is supposed to fly in tomorrow. If all works out with that, <laughs> he'll get in at 12. And I get off at 3.30, and then we should be hitting the road. Pod's gonna get up, picked up between 12 and 3 tomorrow. Edama's gonna do the move out inspection, maybe around like 3-ish, three -ish. Three -ish because <laughs> once they do the move out inspection, they do take the keys. Um, and she's gotta turn the cable box, and they gotta load up the last bits. I need to pack my shoes. And that's it. So it's kind of crazy. So this will probably be the last vlog that you see for a while because I really don't think I'll be able to upload until we get to California. I will vlog the road trip. Um, but yeah, so this will probably be the last clip that you see. Um, and then you'll see the last day in Minnesota and then like the road trip. More than likely once we get to California because I don't know how I would edit and upload. So yeah. This is it for now, so we'll see you in a few days. Hopefully we get no speeding tickets, no car accidents, everything is smooth sailing. Um, again, you know, we hope we get to stop it. I mean, if you know some things to do at the major cities we're stopping in, comment down below. Um, everyone that already has, thank you. And yeah, so that's it. We will see you guys in California. Holy smokes. I'm going, I'm going. Back, back, back to Cali. Parate. But um nice. yeah, so Gordo, you wanna say goodnight to friends? Yay. Come here, sit up. You gotta yeah. tell them. You gotta tell them. What do you gotta tell them? <sighs> say please thumbs up. Say don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you guys when we're in Cali. Thanks for Yay. watching. Bye. Nice. Cheese. Say cheese.